Welcome back to the channel. I was checking a guy from YouTube. It's called Zip Ties and Bias Plies. You gotta check him out. Um, he was using old engine oil as fuel in his dirty old comments and his dirty old IDIs. What I have here is a dirty old comments, a 5.9, 12 valve. And I was wondering, can I do the same? So I messaged the guy on Instagram and asked him, Peg, how long have you been running black diesel in your dirty old 12 valve? Oh, for a long fucking time, bud. So I went online, I did some research, and find out that there's a couple things you need to do before you put it in the tank. Stay tuned, and let me show you what you need to do before you run it in your truck. So, how does it work? First of all, you gotta get used engine oil. I got mine from servicing family members' vehicles or friends that has a mechanic shop. Black gold. Anyway, it may not be a perfect substitute for fuel as it is, but when you filter it and dilute it as should be, it may be well used and as a diesel substitute. Personally, I like to spike mine up with a used transmission oil also. Now that we have the used engine oil and the transmission oil in the barrel, I'm going to check out to see how it is, how much it is. I'm um, use my measuring stick and pickup tube to see how much we got in here. It's about just about a quarter of a barrel. It's not much. You can roughly calculate it how much it is about here. So 55 gallons divided by three is about 18 gallons. Now that you know you have about 18 gallons of used motor oil and transmission oil, you gotta dilute it. Any other oil that's not diesel, its coefficiency is higher. So you get lesser energy per liter or per amount in it. How you bring that up is by using gasoline. Yeah, that's right. You heard me right. Gasoline. The right amount to mix it is 15% gasoline. And what you have so if we have 18 gallons you got to use 15 percent gasoline that's how much that's right 2.7 gallons now i'm gonna add the fresh gas to the mixing barrel this is 2.5 gallons just about what i need let's add this to the barrel oh don't spill it all over here Let me show you them adding gasoline to this. If you don't believe me, it's gasoline. Fresh gas. Okay. The next step before you pump it into your truck is let it sit. I like to let mine sit a few hours for all the contaminants that drops on the bottom. After it's gonna sit for a while, I'm gonna show you the next step. We're almost ready to put it in the truck. Almost. We're back after a few hours of sitting. Now it's time to filter it. How I filter mine is like this. You can set up yours however you want, but this is what I had laying around. It was cheap and free. I only had to buy the filter. This is a 20 micron filter. 20 micron. That goes directly into a 5 micron before the jerry can. So let me turn it on. Put this to engine boost. 10 amps. You can hear it pumping. It goes from the barrel to the first pump. Into the first filter. 20 micron filter. Out into the next 5 micron filter 
and it should come out like this there you go you see that let me show you and spill it down you see I was really not engine oily thick kind anymore that's because of the gas it smells a little bit like gas and a little bit like trans oil but this should be it I'm only putting uh, about how much this is five gallons into my truck now that you have five gallons of diluted filtered used engine oil with the gasoline you gotta add it to the tank this is a ratio I like to use I like to use 20% so I add 20 gallons of pump diesel diesel pump from the pump and five gallons of the mixed diluted filtered used engine oil black gold some people like to use 40% 30% 10% 20% 15% it's up to you um, the way I, s I came up with 20% is the amount of smoke that comes out the tape pipe at idle 20% is just about a haze a blue haze that I can live with because I live in the city or in, a, is in an island in my case but um, you just gotta find out what use trial and error find out what, um, what works for you pros and cons of this um, pros you got a little bit of fuel savings costs cons you gotta mess with a dirty old barrel at home dirty old filter you gotta do this pour it in the gas tank um, if you don't have time it's not for you but um, if you have time and if you're willing to try something new try it out try it out you ain't gonna lose anything um, I recommend to only use this old engine oil mixture thingy majiggy on the old diesels do not try this on the new common rail diesels if you try this you gotta keep rags in your truck because um, it's dirty it's dirty and uh, she likes it let me start this up give it a little mix takes a while to get in the system but I'm gonna drive it you can compare the smoke right now and then I'll compare you before and after that's why I like 20% diesel that's why I like 20% because the smoke output is not that bad I don't know if you can see it on this video but it's not that bad at all it smells a little bad but the smoke output is really good if you like this content please check around my channel for the other videos and hit that subscribe button and the bell button and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care. I'll see you.